Talking Fight fans, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Knuckle Up. It is Female Friday. It's yours truly, Mike Orr. And yes, we have a good one for you because six minutes ago, I just heard that she has won a new title, guys. Now, the woman that I am talking about is Lanny Daniels. Sugar, you asked me to profile her today. That's what I'm doing. Guys, be on the lookout for this girl, man. Let me just break her down for you. Lanny Daniels. She is now 7-2-2 two two heavyweight. She's wearing the crown, guys. She is ranked number one out of three in New Zealand, number one out of 24 in the world in the heavyweight division, guys. She's only 34 years old. She's known as the Smiling Assassin. Guys, she just took on today uh, Sequita Hemingway uh, in an eight-round battle for the Australian National Boxing Federation Australian Heavyweight Championship, and she won an eight-round unanimous decision win. She's already scheduled for her next fight. That one is coming your way, guys, May 27th, 2023. That one will be against uh, Ellery Melissa. Uh, this one is for the IBF World Heavy Vacant title. So she is taking these titles. You know, guys, be on the lookout for this girl. Let me tell you how she started it on all out, guys. Uh, she began her boxing career as an amateur in the early 2010s. And as an amateur, she became a two-time amateur New Zealand champion and won the 2015 Bobby Johnson Cup for being the most scientific boxer at the New Zealand National Championships. In 2017, she made her professional boxing debut during her time while winning two of her New Zealand professional titles and leading her into world title fight against uh, Paris. Uh, she played professional basketball in New Zealand as well, guys. Uh, between 2017 and 2017 and 2018, she played two seasons in the New Zealand Women's Basketball Championship with uh, the Northland Phoenix uh, playing point guard. She was so good. She scored the most points for her team during the 2017 season. Uh, she, she would usually wear the number seven jersey. She retired from basketball to chase her dream as a professional boxer, hoping to become a world boxing champion. Uh, she acknowledges that her basketball impacted her legs, especially her feet. However, she believes it has improved her footwork in boxing. And, guys, from the show that she put on, she definitely did. Uh, Daniels is one of nine siblings. And at the age of 14, Daniels' younger brother died of leukemia at the age of 11. Uh, this led to Daniels turning to drugs and alcohol uh, with contemplation of suicide. She got inspired by her sister, Caroline, who has who was already fighting as an amateur boxer. And since then, Lanny turned her life around and became a mental health nurse. She fights alongside her sister, Caroline, with both of them being amateur and later on professional boxers. Uh, you know, Daniel started boxing to lose weight uh, to, to lose weight alongside her sister. Uh, she began her career in the amateur division. She first started um, with her sister, Caroline, in Hamilton under the coach, Dion McNabby, uh, at Nabby's Boxing Gym. Daniels is a two-time New Zealand amateur champion, winning titles in 2014 and 2015. Uh, debuted to multiple national championships in September of 2017. She made her professional debut, and she took on... Trisha Vaca on the Big Bash Boxing Promotions. Daniel, Daniels won that bout by unanimous decision. And in November of 2017, she fought Vaca again in a rematch, but this time for the vacant NZPBA light heavyweight title. And Daniels won that bout by unanimous decision, winning all of the scheduled rounds by two judges and picking up her first title. So, guys, you heard it here, man. Mike Gore at four. It is Female Friday. Lanny Daniels is the subject of today's show. And honestly, congratulations to her wonderful win. Uh, she wins over the 100th year old title, Australian title, becoming the second New Zealand female and first heavyweight female to win the title. Next stop, world title fight on May 27th, guys. Some of New Zealand's best women boxers turned up to watch the fight between Lanny Daniels and Zaquita Hemingway, including soon, soon, IBO world title contender Miyamoto, retired WBO world light heavyweight champion Geneva Paris, and now soon to be Daniels world title opponent Ariel or El Ellery Melissa. Uh, granted, Gervona Paris and Miyamoto helped Daniels prepare for this fight. So, you know, they were in the gym. They were working real hard. Our girl Mia 
you know what she's about, man. She's about kicking ass and getting in there and give, giving it her all, you know, pouring it all out in the ring, 150%, leaving it all in there. So you know that Lanny was definitely ready to go for this fight. And that's why she came through with this wonderful unanimous victory over eight rounds to capture that vacant Australian National Boxing Federation Australian Asian Heavyweight Championship. You heard it here, guys. You know what it is, man. Tonight, it is Friday. We will see you on the panel, man. We will be talking about lots of boxing this weekend. So make sure you come and join us 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the platform. You know what it is, man. Talk and Fight bringing you all the up-to-date, minute-to-minute, everything that's going around in boxing, man. You know what it is. We got our ears in the streets. We got the people for you to watch. It's Mike Gore. It is for, and we will see you later on tonight. Same time, same channel, seven o'clock panel. You know what it is. Peace. <laughs>